Abhishek, we talk about phishing as being a very popular attack vector. A company's institutional knowledge is heavily in email databases, isn't it? In the security context, for the longest time, when when you think about email, you always think about phishing, you think about BC, these days like invoice fraud, malware. But what you don't often think about in a security context is all of the content that actually sits inside email. And in particular, you know, not just in a corporate setting, but even for a in a personal setting, just think about like your entire digital life is essentially represented in email. So why is this a concern? It is, you know, increasingly an attack target. So so the old information that's in the database, uh, the email database. Yeah. So if you think about, you know, probably the most famous uh, example of this is the Sony Pictures breach, uh, where their entire email corpus ended up on WikiLeaks. That's a lot of dirty laundry. So basically email as content is a target for the same reason that any sensitive data is a target. You can weaponize it, monetize it in different ways. But what is different about email is that we're so used to thinking about it from a network security perspective, which is how do I block inbound or outbound emails? What we're not so much used to thinking about it as is from an application security or content security perspective. Like most people think a lot about their S3 buckets and how to secure the content that's sitting at rest. Email is no different. It's just another record repository of documents, if you think about it. But we don't have a lot of the same controls traditionally on it that we have for other content repositories. So actually, I'm interested in material security. How do you approach dealing with assuming they're already in and they're rooting around, how do you deal with that? You know, at Material, we do do some of the traditional email security where we're trying to prevent the attack in the first place. So might as well put locks on the doors. But then where it gets really interesting is we also have controls for things that an adversary or an insider would do once they are inside a mailbox. Were they to compromise it? What would they actually do? And the way you have to think about this is simply just start listing the things that I would do if I was an adversary and gained access to a mailbox, how would I use it? Give me an example of of exactly that, because I'm interested, because I don't fully understand it. Yeah. So one thing, for example, that I would do if I got into your mailbox is I would immediately download the entire mailbox. So you want some kind of tripwire? Well, we do something a little bit more interesting. So what we do is we actually go through your archives and detect anything that we think is sensitive. But once we identify them, what we can actually do via APIs is redact those messages in place inside the email repository. Oh, that's interesting. And then still allow users that are the true authentic users of the mailbox to retrieve those messages when they need after doing some additional step up authentication. So you can think about it as, you know, an additional layer of authentication for extra sensitive messages inside a mailbox. And so it's really the magic of APIs and cloud-based email that has made this kind of thing possible. We have a variety of these kind of defense in depth techniques which say, hey, in, in addition to blocking attacks that are happening over email, let's also put controls in were someone to compromise a mailbox and, uh, you know, sort of try to, try to limit the harm that they could do, like limit the blast radius. It becomes basically this combination of uh, preventive uh, controls, but also uh, defense in depth. If you want to learn more about how to protect the innards of your email inbox, well, you'll need to check out what Material Security is doing. But just announce they are also scanning the environment and protecting the sensitive data within your Google Drive. So that is spanking new. They just started offering it right now. So to see the specifics of that, head over to their site, material.security. There's the address right there.